Greetings, everyone. Package opening time. Hmm. Now, once again, the eternal mystery. Is this the thing I ordered a while ago that got lost and then they sent a replacement? Or is this yet another mystery package from one of you guys? I don't know, but we're doing it as a package opening just to be on the safe side. So let's see what it is today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. That landed right on my crotch. Okay, here we go. Uh, which, uh, where is it open? Oh, it's the flap is on the front. Yeah, sneaky. Sneaky, Amazon. Here we go. So let's see what we got. And it is... Oh, oh my God, this took so long. Okay, it's the thing that I ordered. Let me just give you the quick rundown here. I originally placed this order on December 24th of 2015. The estimated time of delivery was January 4th, 2016. Now, I do I am an Amazon Prime member over on amazon.ca, but this was with my Amazon gift card money that I get from uh, you know, kickbacks from stuff that you guys buy through my Amazon links basically. Um, yeah, so it accumulates over time, and then they pay me in the form of a gift card, and then I go and buy something, like a, usually just a Blu-ray or a graphic novel or something. It's not very much. It's like me, I might get like enough to buy one thing every month. So anyway, this was with one of those, and uh, I was really excited. This is one that I've been wanting for a long time. I've been keeping an eye out at HMV, see if they had it in stock. So they're the only ones that carry titles from this particular publisher uh, here in town. Uh, never showed up there, so I was like... Let's put this in stereo, shall we? Sorry, I record in mono when I do the um, uh, the Twitch sessions because the stereo is reversed from my voice. Because it's basically with the way the Yeti works here, I'm using the, the Yeti microphone, is it, it's designed for audio. It's not really intended for use for video, but many of us use it that way. Now, here's the thing. The stereo is phased for my left and right. So left is my left, right is my right. So when I use this to record the audio for these videos, I have to flip the channels the other way around so that it's your left and your right. <laughs> so yeah, so anyway, when I do the uh, when I do just a video like this, I can take care of that in the editing. However, when I'm doing a video game playthrough video, everything is recording together as one single master track, so I can't separately adjust that. So I just record the voice in mono and just have the game in stereo. And that's basically a little behind-the-scenes story for you. So anyway, placed the order for this on December 24th. Estimated time of delivery was January 4th. Time passed, and I was like, huh wonder where that Blu-ray is. I, I haven't seen any sign of it. So I, I, I went and checked the status of the order, and it said, estimated delivery time, January 4th. And at this point, it was like the 20th of January. And I was like, what the hell? It's like, okay, well, I'll give it a few more days. Maybe it's just a little slow because it's post-holidays. Maybe it's stuck in customs, something like that. So I go and check it again on the 25th of January. And then it says, the estimated delivery time of your package has been adjusted to January 18th. Well, that's great, except it's January 25th when I was checking. So I thought, oh, okay, something's obviously up here. So I email Amazon customer service. Email, which you would think would take forever. So I emailed them. Within 20 minutes, they got back to me and said, yeah, it looks like that package is lost. Did you want a replacement or did you want a refund? And I'm like, um, replacement. And I just respond, yeah, replacement, please, because I really want the item. Um, so they said, okay. Within 15 minutes, they responded back and said, okay, we've uh, placed a replacement order with uh, expedited shipping, so it should get there f to you within a few days. Sweet. That that was completely painless. Thanks, Amazon customer service. That, that could not have been more painless. I, I mean, I love that uh, Amazon just gets right down to business. It's like, okay, yeah, we screwed up. What do you want us to do? Okay, cool. Here you go. Done. Fucking A. <laughs> So the estimated delivery time in this case takes a little longer coming from Amazon.com, obviously because it's down in the States, but they sent it from one of their uh, Canadian uh, outlets here. 
so that it would take less time. And, uh, and yeah, so it looks like it just arrived. So what is it? What is it you're wondering almost seven minutes into the video? Well, let's see here. We got the invoice. Who cares? We have from the Scream... Oh, actually, it's from Shout Factory. Funny enough, I would have thought this would be a Scream Factory release. But we have Q, the Winged Serpent. Yes, Quetzalcoatl. But just call it Q, because that's all you'll have time to say before it tears you apart. <laughs> now I remember seeing this poster in the uh, in the the newspapers when this movie was in theaters back in 1982, <laughs> and uh, the it, it just it really frightened me because I I mean I love giant monster movies and stuff obviously as a kid Godzilla and stuff but this was like this was one that was rated R this was like an R rated giant monster movie I'm like oh it's probably really bloody and gory and stuff and when you're a kid you equate blood and guts with fear. But um, and th and then there's this badass poster. Let me see. Let me see if I can actually get a bigger scan of the actual movie poster here. This is the original movie poster artwork, which they used here, which is quite nice. Where are we going? Yeah. So here's here's a bigger version of it. Take a look at that. Do you notice the signature down in the lower left there? It's Boris motherfucking Villijo. Yeah, like fantasy artist extraordinaire. He did the movie poster for Q the Winged Serpent. How? Freaking cool is that? That's amazing. I, I had, all these years I had no idea that that was one of his, but now I can understand why it terrified me so much because he is like the king of dark fantasy artwork and uh, and and really just making things in that dark fantasy world look really dangerous and deadly. <laughs> and the women are always beautiful and the men are always ripped. So yeah. Um, so anyway, so we had this beautiful poster art of Q the Winged Serpent. Now, the movie itself, uh, I mean, it, it's, it, I haven't seen it in a very long time. Um, I eventually did rent it when I was older. And I was like, you know, I want to see that Q the Winged Serpent movie that always terrified me as a kid. Um, just the poster and the thought of what it could be terrified me as a kid. But uh, so, so I was picturing this really fast-moving uh, flying lizard creature that was just ripping people to shreds left and right. It's like, if you see it, you're dead. You know, that's kind of what I was thinking, my 10-year-old brain. But, uh, <laughs> um, but what it actually is, I mean, it, it's a pretty straight-up giant monster flick, as I recall. You got Michael Moriarty as the, uh, the main character, uh, sort of investigating everything, trying to figure out what's going on. Um, and uh, Q itself is uh, is basically practical effects, stop motion animation, pretty cool for for the day, you know. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out again. It's literally been about 20 years since I've seen it. I really remember very little about it. So uh, yeah, maybe maybe a little review will show up on Fright Night Friday at some point. We'll see. Time will tell. I'm trying to do more in the way of reviews lately, as you probably noticed. I'm slowly getting back into them. As much as the updates and stuff are fun, we like to actually talk about the movies themselves from time to time. Although, I do, to be fair, I do sneak reviews into the updates if it's something that I've watched. But, um, but no, it'd be nice to have more sort of dedicated reviews. I know you guys, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do that, so I am making an effort to uh, accommodate that. Got some, uh, got some plans, got some ideas for 2016. I'm not going to give any detail on them. Because I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to follow through on them as I would like to. So we'll see. So we'll just, uh... And... Frickin' saran wrap again. Stuck to my finger. Is it gone? Yes. Alright. There we go. So here we take a look at... There we go. Yeah. So you can see, actually, the... You can see a little bit of the creature there as it appears in the movie. Not quite... Oh. Great. Pieces falling out of it. Not quite as badass as the uh, Boris painting, but uh, but still pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, and then inside we've got uh, here. Hold on a second. We'll just set the disc down here. I'll actually pull this out so you're not seeing it filtered through the blue. But uh, there you go. There you can see some of the artwork there. Quite nice, quite nice indeed. And uh, and there we go. If I do uh, like a full-on review of it, I'll uh, I'll do a scan of that for you, so you can get a much nicer high-res look. But uh, this is just an update; it doesn't have to be anything fancy, right? So anyway, there you go. So now, now I will know for sure that anything that I see in the mail is is other stuff and not something that I've ordered and have been waiting forever for. 
Alrighty, that is it for uh, this edition of the Multimedia Chronicles Blu-ray updates. Hope you enjoyed it. There we go. Yeah, pretty stoked to get that back in the collection. Uh, I was really, really happy to hear that there was a Blu-ray coming, and I've been wanting it ever since. I just kept for it was one of those things I just kept forgetting to get because uh, other things would take priority. But uh, now it is mine. <laughs> so pretty cool. Definitely, uh, definitely gonna enjoy that. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, mm, yeah, definitely. Alrighty, um, just quick thank you to my Patreon sponsors. Thanks, Patreon sponsors. A special big thank you to Kimberly Harmon and Kyle Pellegrin, my two highest level sponsors, and huge thanks to everyone else as well. You know who you are. You're helping to make the dreams happen. And also, big thanks to everyone who orders stuff through my Amazon links, because you literally made this possible. So, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Alrighty, that is it for me to you for now. So, until next time... Thanks for watching, and Rosie would like to say goodbye. She just had a shower and uh, is dripping wet with her towel. Please don't drip all over my microphone. Thank you. All right. Bye, everybody. I love all the commenters, and also I'm making my own season. Um, okay. Yeah, Rosie's doing her own videos now. About yeah. Minecraft and other games. We're good. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye. Sayonara. Bye.